now we after doing all the cadastral land information systems now we thought why not we have a village information system for a one village in maharashtra so as a village youth what i wanted to do is i wanted to know one thing is about the land records what are the land records then i want to know what are the water sources then agriculture weather information settlement information cultural information like that you have so many information which everybody wants to know it at a village level so this is one thing is to know what is happening in the village as well as how you get connected with the rest of the area what else we can do it at the same time the people from the far away places for them what is happening in the villages so this the purpose of this is to create awareness from the villagers village youths so that they will be able to get a better knowledge including this gis program is meant for them and also for others to know what is happening in that type of system so this has been developed as a pilot study for a village in loha in the nande district of maharashtra now what i wanted to show is how the cadastries and land information is attached to this is the purpose of this so what is done here is the village map has been converted autocad type so what we try to have is this is the uh, parcel land parcel these are all some of the boundaries this is one boundary this is another boundary this is the third boundary and somewhere here it is a fourth boundary so this village is surrounded by so many places now what what i wanted to do is one thing is i said about what is who is there the neighbor so here the parcel of this this is the settlement area let us go to the settlement area first so this is the way the entire village houses are located now i want to know who are all living in these houses so this house 98 which i have named it or which i have numbered it this many people are living in these houses so now i have got a list so that i will be able to plan for the betterment of these places people now i want to know who is there in the house number 102 that means one thing is the individual house information is needed second thing is specially where other houses are there because i do not know because i have not seen it so that house is somewhere here okay so this type of the another one if i have to do it so we can give any any village number so this will tell you about who is the people which are who are there and a third thing is now we'll, let us go back to some other special query the, this type of special query is about the 60 village okay i can by this way what i can able to do is in a village and how many houses are there who is living in the house and which are the houses which are in close proximity to each other so this is one thing which is often needed and this can be updated by the local youths so that they will be able to get some better benefits and they are the people who are going to give them information correctly instead of some other service now it is regarding the land parcels land parcels this parcel is owned by this groups total area which is we, the, the parcel is 1.4 acres and 20 is grown maize and 1 1.2 is grown by some other crops so this is the what the sat baras it normally contains it so what i did was i have taken the sat baras of a individual plots and then i have converted into a attribute table that attribute table is connected to the parcel now when i want to go back 78 so this is where the 78 is so when i want to know who are all my neighbor okay my neighbor is 80 so 80 is here then when i go back to 82 these are all the people so now why i want this type of information is if i if this is this is the road this is the main road which goes on 
if I have to buy a plot adjacent to the road, my query is how close I am at the same time who are all my neighbors so that I will be able to get a on their plot also I will be able to get a bigger unit. So, this type of spatial queries as well as the individual owners query they are all possible in this type of GIS mode operations. So, that is what we wanted to show it to you. So, same thing multiple village boundaries are adjusted in a river basin that river basin what are the villages which are there if it is village basin wise also you will be able to query it up so, my village is party. So, either I go to this village website or you can go to this party which is located here. So, I can go to the same area that means as a river basin wise also I will be able to access this information and also as a revenue village information system also I will be able to do it up. Now, what we were uh, talking about is how to create a village level information so that individual micro level information and for a village and so that the spatial information of that is spatial information related to the this uh, agriculture plot, spatial information related to the individual houses or the query can be still further more that means, who are all the people with a particular surname he owns that house or, or owns that particular village parcels. So, these are all the queries which you can do that that depends on what is the your interest. Now, another interest is who are all the people who are doing a particular crop in that village during that particular period that is also possible by this type of methods. Now, the second one which we I thought I will try to show it to you is about nowadays river watershed river basin management those are all the things which are coming up in a big way. Now, this is one small watershed and this is the Godavari river which goes and joins this entire village thing. Now, if you want to if you just superimpose all your village boundaries and attach to this river basin boundary. So, the water which is used surface water which is used surface water which is stored that could be planned. So, here I have my interest is party village. So, it may go back to the website showing the village or it can come back or other information also which we have not uh, finalized it. So, even though that sat baras are there we have not filled up all those details. So, this type of entire village can be mosaic or entire village can be separated out and you can have a spatial information analysis is possible on a river basin mode also. So, to conclude or to summarize the village or the land information systems helps in dealing with the practices or water and other natural resources which is required for the food security as well as for the crop production. So, this type of GIS based village, village information, cadastral information and settlement information if it is synergized integrated using the geo referenced conditions then it can be upscaled, upscaled in the sense from the village level up to the top regional level up to the bottom. So, this type of movement is possible. So, that accurate evaluation of a water availability or water demands can be managed on a regional scale during the drought and other natural disaster conditions. Why adjacent areas information is interested is suppose if I do not have anything it will be possible for me to go to the others and then get that water or movement or whatever it is you will be able to do that. For this purpose we need to create a local information as well as adjoining information which is possible only by this geographical information systems. So, we close for the day and then we look for the next lecture. Thank you.